My name is Lorraine Mitchell and this, the connection we have with John Greenwood Shipman is um, I have a, I'm a parent with a child with complex disabilities and we use the centre so that I can get a break. Chloe was born with a rare chromosomal abnormality, um, five chromosomes broke and rejoined so technically she should have miscarried. She's here, she's 16, um, she has profound disabilities, um, hearing loss, she doesn't sit, she's doubly incontinent, she breathes through a tracheostomy, she has a gastrostomy and soon a porta cath because her IV access is very poor. Um, she's hard work. She is hard work, I won't deny it, but we love her a bit. She's her own personality, she gives us a lot of pleasure. You know, she can be a little madam, I won't deny that, but she's, she's just amazing. <laughs> Chloe absolutely loves it here. As soon as we pull up outside the front doors, she knows where she is, and she's smiling, she's waving, she's giving high fives. It's a continuity of the staff as well. She knows who's going to be on and she absolutely loves it. The centre um, provides Chloe with everything she needs. Um, they entertain her, they look after her, they're very good at looking after her. They take her out and about. And just, just gives her a good time really. She thoroughly enjoys it here. The staff are amazing. I can't say enough for them. They, it's, it's like home from home, um, they treat us very well, they treat Chloe fantastically. Uh, it's, it's just like an extension of your family really, they're, they're absolutely amazing. I chose to come and work at JGS because I'm absolutely passionate about children with learning disabilities and making sure that they achieve everything they possibly can in life about putting them first as a child and always seeing them as a child first, um, not as a disability. So doing everything possible that we can do to make sure that they enjoy life and get the most possible out of it. And what happens at the centre on a day-to-day -day basis is that the children normally arrive here from school or via their parents. So we do lots of activities with the children, and we take the children out, and we do activities on the unit. We have um, companies that come in, so they bring in animals for the children to pet. Um, we have music sessions, we do baking and cooking, um, we do art and crafts, um, pampering sessions, we've got a sensory room and an IT suite, we do soft play. And then we do lots of activities outside of the um, home as well. So we go bowling, cinema, day trips to the seaside. And we do all kinds of things with the children. Basically, we follow the care routines that the parents are following at home. So it's like a home from home environment. Our parents obviously are in a caring role 24 hours a day, every day of the week. So it's really important that they have a break from that to recharge their batteries. I think obviously that's in the benefit of the child as well because then the parent isn't so tired. Um, it's a really tough job that they do. That, that we've got some very, very complex children and they're caring for them 24 hours a day. So obviously we can make a difference by, by just giving that, them that little bit of time. They might have other siblings that they need to spend time with um, and obviously knowing that they're somewhere safe and secure is, is everything to them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can always be lonely. <laughs>